Hello, veteran012 in here. Welcome back. This is another episode of Dragon Quest XI. In the previous episode, we did the Gold Golem side quest with Hendrik and Solvando and unlocked their final skill trees, which has some of their best stuff. Also went to Tickington and found out that Salma does not sell anything yet. But I think I know why. You know that Prince of Cannot quest? That annoying fucking quest that's even more annoying than actually playing Dragon Quest 2 and trying to find that asshole? Yeah. That's the quest we gotta do, apparently. Or at least I have to advance it further than it's at right now. But in order to do that, I need to find more tacos. So... I'm gonna find more tackles. This one I've been staring at a long time, so let's go find it. And yeah, apparently there's one in Gondolia, but I didn't see it. Maybe it's behind the ultimate key door. I don't know. I got I gotta go back to Gondolia and double check. But I did not see a tackle anywhere in Gondolia. I thought I remembered there being one, that's why I was like, wait a minute, all we got is just uh, some lousy treasure behind this fucking door? And it was lousy too, it was like fucking, it was like a paltry 50,000 gold or something like that, it was dumb. It's a waste. I just oh wait a minute he's gray he's sitting on the bench there how did I not see you man so yeah if you were yelling at me in the last episode how did you miss the gray taco sitting on the bench yeah I know pretty dumb huh Tenton via the altar of the undeciphered huh Okay, so he's out of the way. And... Cryptic Crypt. There's one in the Cryptic Crypt, I guess, huh? Well, let's go look for him. In case you're wondering where the Cryptic Crypt is, the easiest way to get there is to zoom to the Hato Step camp campsite, which is just southwest of the the place. I believe there's only one new monster in the Cryptic Crypt, but then again, this is the definitive version of Dragon Quest XI, so who, who knows? It might be completely different. Or my memory could just suck. One of the two is the case. Ooh, metal scorpions. No oh, thanks, buddy. I'll fight you later. I will come back for you later, scorpion fella. And all your scorpion friends. I don't know, maybe there are gonna be new guys in here. few old ones though. But there are new ones. Interesting. See, I don't remember there being that many new ones. I remember there being one. And that is the, uh, the guy at the end of this place that you can fight. Um, the mechanical guy that drops uber falcon blades. That's the guy I'm talking about. Uh, no, we don't. Which way are we going here? Yeah. Yeah, we wanna go this way? Got all the loot, so we shouldn't have to worry about that, right? What? 
Oh wait, yeah, at the end. Never mind. What am I saying? Of course there's treasure in this place. Oh hey, it's a zombie, guys. You know, if you're doing that quest, trying to find the zombie girl. Yeah, we want to take this path over here because the other three paths lead to either dead ends or holes. So yeah, we don't want to do that stuff. Wait, I don't know where this taco is. This taco could be anywhere. I should keep my eye out here. Hopefully he's the ta I'm luck I luck out and he's in the last room. But yeah, this is a spring. Which is very nice. You can also use the save, which is very nice. Please be in this last room here. But yeah, I wanted to show this last room off of these because this enemy is notable. Uber killing machines. Find out just how uber they are at killing compared to us. Oh, it's not looking good for them, is it? Get away from me there, guy. Oh, you can get molten globules from them too, if you need to. Not that you'd probably need to, but yeah, Uber Falcon Blades. Probably the best sword in the game, to be honest. If you like swords. Fight me. Hey, another Metal King jacket. I forgot we found one. So, yeah. I, oh, I got an extra one now. Actually, I didn't buy eight. I said maybe in a previous video that I bought eight. I didn't buy eight. I bought six. I didn't buy one for Eric, and then I didn't buy one for, uh, for Jade, I think. Yeah. That was, those are the two. Pandora's box, eh? Still going good at the moment. For the moment. Let me see this skill, nice. Unless I gotta farm. I do have to far farm some more of those. I wish I could take the ones that I got for Eric. And just give them to other characters, you know? It's dumb that you can't trade skill points between characters. Something for Dragon Quest 12, huh? Yuji Hori? Field Manual! You can make Field Marshal's Finery and Field Marshal's Footwear, which is... I think the footwear is pretty good accessory, actually. I think the armor is kind of forgettable. Uh, but it doesn't lock another outfit for Hendrik if you craft both of those items. Oh hey, here's our taco. Here's another gray one. Must have run out of colors, huh? So he's got two grays. Alright, we can go to Wheelbrook. We need to go to Wheelbrook. Because that's where the Prince of Canock is. Alright. Outstanding. Outstanding. Oh wait, we need the uh, Calamus flute, right? For the last one. Okay. Get on loot. Yeah, 
Yeah, this one, if you missed this one, I mean, the only reason I didn't show getting this one earlier is because I just simply stopped recording, because at that point I just needed to stop recording. Because all I wanted to do was show off that Hooper Duper enemy. And then, uh, yeah, that's when I went on my massive leveling and farming frenzy that I went on. I don't think if there, I was looking at the map there, trying to think if there was any other locations besides the battleground that I need to unlock as far as zoom stuff, and there probably is. I just don't remember at the moment what they are. And you know what? As long as we're here, we might as well get the fucking treasure too. Three, three treasures. Hot damn. But yeah, there's one that I kept seeing behind this fucking tree here as I was running around. Which is a forgettable item. But yeah, this guy is pretty obvious. He stands out. I'm like the gray fuckers. Hidden Valley, via the Altar of the Chosen. Alright, that's all the ones I can get at the moment. But yeah, those guys right there, those guys drop Berserker Blades, these spawny devil guys, so... Uh, if you want to get one as soon as possible, showing up here is a good idea. And there should be one more somewhere, right? Hmm. Well, there it is. Never mind. I see it now. Upper class accessories. I'll be the judge of that. Monarchs, mittens, and elfin charms. Yeah! Elfin charms is one of the best in the game. You know, all those elfin elixirs I farmed? I had those in mind for sure. Yeah, elfin charms are extremely good. I don't remember exactly why they're extremely good off the top of my head. I just know that they are extremely good. All right, so let's go to uh, let's go to Tickington now. We can go to these new locations, right? my starting point. I don't want to fuck myself over in case this recording goes to pot. Alright. So now we should be able to get some stuff done in this area. Be able to finally finish that stupid uh, Prince of Cannot quest line. That's gonna, Wheelbrook's gonna be Dragon Quest 3? Oh wait, no, that's Dragon Quest 5. That's right, I don't know why I was thinking. See, I'm used to playing Dragon Quest 5 with the PlayStation 2 translation, so Wheelbrook is, I, I think, Santa Rosa. I don't know, for some reason I keep thinking Wheelbrook is like, you know, original trilogy. But no. Yeah, this is Santa Rosa. Great deal of pain. People are in pain? Oh dear, what's going on here? 
moment Hank Kraz came back to the village, everyone got struck down with this horrible... Oh, they're saying that Pancras went out and fucking gave everybody the coof? He gave everybody the coronavirus? Shame on you, Pancras. Or Papas, as he's called. Shame on you. Oh man, they, they're incapacitated too. A medicine that can cure any cold. All I know is when I fell ill, I heard a strange voice. It says to me, The Syndicate, the Questers Rest, they have the medicine you need. They? Okay, is it just one location or is that two locations? Alright, so we gotta go to Questers Rest. Hopefully just the Questers Rest. Alright. Hey, let's... Hey, Pancras. Mmm, mm -hmm. medicinal herb. Nice. Better than a sharp stick in the eye. The river that runs in the middle of town? Yeah, that goes into a cave, Eric. A dingy cave that leads... To a brownie. Who's being toppled by a boulder? Or is it a dwarf? I think it's a dwarf. Never mind, it's not a brownie. My bad. My memory's a little off. <laughs> you don't like the teleporters, Rab? Oh, we can't go down there? Come on, man. I want to go to the fairy village. Oh, yeah, and it's cold. Probably because the fairy village... Come on, man. I want to go down the well. You know, so I can get the Santa Rosa stone. Whatever the fuck it's called in the uh, DS version. It's called something else, probably. I probably will play the DS version of DQ5 eventually, just so I can see the new bride and what she's like. I have heard that battle-wise, she's different than Bianca and um, and uh, the other one, Fiora. Flora, whatever her name is. Alright, we're done here, I think. So we need to go to Quester's Rest. And Dragon Quest 9 land, so let's do that. Beastful concoction. Listen, okay. And you can trust this antidote. You can trust this vaccine, okay? You know how you can trust it? Because it's not from Bill Gates. 
or anybody like Bill Gates or being endorsed by anybody that's owned by Bill Gates or anybody that owns him <laughs> like anybody owns Bill Gates anyways well maybe somebody does anyways let's uh let's go back and uh get this going here for our lovely platinum lore I have the medicine. Oh, for fuck's sake. Forget it. What do I gotta do? Go around and give it to everybody? Can I just get the items now from the shop? Let me just check here. What's going on here? This is all so confusing. Yeah, you can have Eggersil do. Oh, was I supposed to do? Wait, what? The next time we pay you a visit. Okay, do you have it ready yet? Come on, man. What do I gotta do? Just leave and come back? Was I supposed to do that step before going back to Wheelbrook? Yeah, all right, I'll pay the 2,500 gold. Stone cold, okay. All right, so now I got the item. Oh, now you're open for business. Okay, this is what I needed. Yeah, now we can buy stuff. Divine Dancer's costume. Interesting. Yeah, sure. Let's pick it up. Yeah, I think I want like three of these. gold here. <laughs> I think I'm gonna run out of gold here. Black cat costume. Yeah, I am gonna run out of gold here. Okay, so I got this and then that. Oh, wait. I could sell something real quick, though. Probably easy enough, right? Yeah, I'll just throw it in the bag for now. Probably want to look at it in 3D mode. Oh, wait. I do have enough for this. Just enough for this. <laughs> Just enough. Holy cow, that's lucky. Alright, I don't feel like uh, finishing the quest right now because I just would rather look at this gear. Actually, let's take a look at it in here real quick. Equipment item. Monster rare drop items 2%. So it does tell you. I wonder if it tells you in uh, in 3D mode though. It probably just says the same thing it does for the other uniform. 
probably doesn't tell you that there's any difference. Never did find that lousy Prince of Canak. <laughs> oh, of course, I probably gotta complete the quest first, right? Uh, anywho, yeah, let's go ahead and look at that stuff, huh? Can I get a new outfit somewhere? Dancing armor. What is this dancing armor that I just got? Where the fuck is it? Was it telling me that Vet could equip? Never mind. The Divine Dancer's costume. See, yeah, it's basically an upgraded uh, dancer's costume. So let's see what it looks like. I guess I thought it was for. Well, I don't know why I was thinking it was for you. I think I was thinking maybe it was like dancer's mail or something. I don't know. It was in 2D mode, man. Leave me alone. <laughs> Ooh, different color scheme. I don't know if I liked it better than the other one. This one's, I, I'd say it's nice, it's just as good at least. And then we have the uh, the white schoolgirl outfit, which, to be honest, I actually do like better than the other one. But not enough for me to actually fucking equip it. Yeah, you know what, fuck it, we'll go with the new dancer outfit for a while. For her. Uh, uh, let's see, that's... Wait a minute. There we go, never mind. Oh, this is the new one, the black cat. Here we go. And, yeah, that's the other new one for her. It's just a white version. It's the same one, it's just a different color scheme, essentially. And, oh yeah, we got the new pirate outfit. I guess we only need the coat for this one, huh? Yeah, you know what, let's go with it. one that battle dress this battle dress one is pretty good though man I like this one this is a switch exclusive one but yeah divine boost I mean, Jade's got a bunch I mean most of her costumes she looks great I mean when does Jade not look great this is still the best though sorry Sorry to anybody else that, that disagrees. figure out what to do next so I'm gonna take a little break here oh you know real quick what I totally forgot to do uh, Breath of Valor yeah I gotta go get that new outfit for Solvando right oh and by the way these uniforms I just got they're even better than the vest for success I just checked all the percentages of all the items uh, for item drops 
Ponytails, 1%. The blue uniforms, 1%. The vest for success, 1%. Yeah, I don't know why I was reading online it said 10%. It's 1% for the vest for success, alright? Pirate King's pendant, though. This is the big one. 5%. I got all this information in 2D mode. Okay. Now these new uniforms, 2%. So, girls with uniforms, they had 2% with bunny tails. Eric with the Pirate King pendant. And the vest for success, that's probably the best combination uh, as far as, um, like, you know, if you're trying to farm treasure and shit. So that's my treasure party. Yeah, we did it, man. But yeah, I completely forgot to do this in the last video. So again, if you're yelling at me because I forgot to do that, then, uh... Oh, man. My bad. Nobody's perfect. Anyway, let's check out this, uh, this new gear here for Solvando. Raza de Calabro raises agility by a lot in HP and charm. Not upgradable. I don't know, it's not bad, but not good enough. It's not better than a Metal King jacket. But. Oops, I don't want to leave the menu there. But it is a new outfit for a Solvando. Which is actually kind of a cool outfit for him. I kind of like it. He kind of reminds me of like, you know, one of the three musketeers or something like that, right? <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to go with this. In fact, that's probably the best new outfit I've seen for Silvano, to be quite honest. I mean, if you're going to ask me what I would choose for this dude to put on, you know, and to not look like a complete weirdo. Some of those other costumes, man, are just freaking weird <laughs> well yeah these these uniforms are gonna be damn good man they're better than the, than the vest for success two percent although in 3d mode it doesn't tell you this it just says chance of defeated monsters dropping items increased now does it say slightly increased for the other uniform which other uniforms that Come on, man, where are they at? I need to sort my bag, apparently. Slightly increased. So the difference is that it's slightly increased. The other one just says increased. Increased apparently means 2%. Even though for Eric's Pirate King's Pendant, it just says increased. So just looking at this data on the screen here, you would think that the Pirate King's Pendant would be the same as the uniform, but it's not. Or the white uniform, but it's not. It's actually 5%. As far as I know, this is the item right here that gives you the highest drop rate just for one item. You know, one big bang for your buck. I'd like to get two of them. Is there two? Can you get two? Let me know if there's any other items in the game that uh, have drop increases and shit. Because I'm all about that. You know, I never... I just remembered, I never showed off the getting the skills for these two. So I will. Grandstand, a showy shout of silver cry that pumps up to declare his attack and defense. Uh, yeah, it's like a self buff. I think it does like oomph and some other some other effect simultaneously. I never really used it. Sounds good. Ladies first. Here we go. The user stands aside for a turn, allowing a female party member to act in his stead. Female party members like. Veronica, for instance. 
So yeah, this skill is very good. Especially because Veronica's way better than Silvano in my opinion. Or Jade. Or, well, well, I don't, well, Serena? Serena's part of Mighty Magic Burst, so yeah. I'd have to say Serena's better than Silvando too. Finger of Justice unleashes the power of a righteousness on a single enemy. This is actually a decent skill. Uh, I think it does like 800-ish damage to a single target that's kind of fixed. So it's not bad when you need some, some reliable damage. Uh, pep up power up, yeah, let's get that. And I'm out of skill points here, huh? Sudden death. Oh no, I don't, I don't need that. That's a knife skill. That's garbage. But yeah, ladies first, grandstand, whipping boy though. This is the, uh, this is the big skill that Silvano gets. It's basically his tanking skill. Uh, it, it essentially works the same as Cecil's cover command in Final Fantasy IV where you actually choose the target that you want for that round from the defend. Uh, Hendrix got a similar one in his, so let's take a look at that. Defending champion returns in this game. Uh, yeah, if you want, if you're defending with Hendrick instead of defend, use defending champion. I don't know how much better. I, th I think it's like ninety percent. Like it reduces the damage. S something crazy better like that. I think normally defend is only like fifty percent of all damage. But yeah, defending champion really good in Dragon Quest State in the uh, in the tr in that um, that trial area. Forbearance. Here we go. Enables the user to stand between the enemy and his allies to soak up all incoming blows. So basically, forbearance. The, the, the main difference between forbearance and whipping whipping boy is forbearance will take damage for the entire party. Whatever attacks target any of the other characters, Hendrick will take the damage for them, for that round. And we get a new pep power, alright, cool. And Magical Mending, I don't need that. Not for Hendrick. What happened? Oh, surprise. Surprise! Thank you for the surprise. Hurt Converter, if you combine the skill with abilities like Double Edge Slash, you can actually heal so you don't die, which can be handy. So yeah, any, like half of any damage you deal will be recovered as HP, so that's, that's not bad. Gotta waste a turn for it though, just to get it started. Steadfast Forbearance. Reduces damage. Yeah, so basically this will make it so you um, take reduced damage when you're in Forbearance mode, which you obviously want. Why would you not want that? Uh, okay, so we got Pep Up Chance here and Hot Hpathy. Gives 30% of the user's HP to an ally. I don't really need this. I don't really need pep chance either. Though, because I got pep pops, so whatever, I'll take this, the ability. I'll get pep up chance later. When I can farm skill points a little bit easier. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. Do you, if you ask me which character got the most powered up, out of the two, I'd have to say Silvando because the funny thing about Silvando is one of his skills actively actively encourages not using Silvando. Hey, when you think about it, that's what it is. Ladies first is that skill. It's like, oh, you'd rather use a girl instead, right? Because they're better. Like, you know, Veronica is, in my opinion, objectively better anyways. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> There you go.
Alright, so for the remaining of the video, I guess I'll start exploring Heliodor. See if there's any new NPCs. Or, no, it's probably the same NPCs. They probably just have different things to say, hopefully. Oh yeah, that's right, we get to talk to uh, King Carnelian too. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, the kingdom wasn't really that bad off when Morgan was in charge, was it? I mean... It's not like he, he could openly persecute the people. I mean, he had to be kind of secretive about it if he was going to do anything like that. You don't want people to rebel, right? Yeah, I know she says the same thing. Ooh, you're getting mauled by monsters with green eyes, huh? Yeah, gotta watch out for them. Yeah. Nobody believes the story. Everybody thinks it's BS. Taverns. People talk at taverns, right? Although, maybe at night. Probably more people in here at night. Oh, hey. Not very talkative, these people. Nine pieces of treasure? What? Huh? Did I not get the treasure in Heliodor? Medicinal herbs? I didn't get this stuff? Did I not do any treasure collecting in Heliodor at all in Act 1? Fuck it, I'm not going tre- Fuck you nose for treasure- Fuck you, Eric, you're lying. There's nothing good. If you're smelling medicinal herbs, you know, filter that shit out, man. We don't have time for that stuff. Honestly. Holy crap, man. Red lines on the map, huh? Nine treasures! Well, yeah, I mean, if there's some... Fuck, man, it's a lot. I'm sorry about, and I'm complaining about that, but I, I, like I said, I spent like six or seven hours in Act 2 doing Nose for Treasure, but then, you know, I gotta remember, this fucking town doesn't exist in Act 2. I mean, it exists, but it's a fucking giant pile of rubble.
Oh, you like Turk, huh? Anybody else here we can talk to that has something to say about Dirk? Well, there's a quest we can get in this town, apparently, huh? Might as well get it. Nine treasures. Hello, sir. Harmatus? The Hato Step. So we gotta go to the Hato Step railway station, huh? So you can get an Apollo's Axe for doing this quest, huh? I think an Apollo's Axe is supposed to be pretty decent. He only shows himself to those who can prove themselves strong enough. Oh yeah, so we gotta go on and we gotta beat up a bunch of fucking regular monsters until he shows up. Well, it's a good thing I have that circle of serendipity now, doesn't it? That'll make that quest a little bit easier. Yeah, I already went to the Emerald Coast, bud. I'm just gonna have to sit tight until I'm ready. Sure, man, even the trees are calling out for help. Yeah, that guy talks about the Heliodor statue. I already talked to, I think, a lot of the people in the castle. Oh, yeah. The condor joke. Thanks, buddy. I always like hearing that one. this. Not again. Keep Folks keep seeing a weird shadowy thing floating about the place. Doesn't seem, doesn't seem like it means any harm. No one knows what it is, so people are a little uneasy, which is, wait a minute, I don't remember it. I just heard that it appeared in the garden in the central courtyard. A maid screamed and ran for her life, apparently. What in the world can it be? Okay, so that's something, that's gotta be a new Switch exclusive quest, because I do not remember that guy giving us a hint like that. Uh, in Vanillative DQ11. So he must be talking about, see that Yggdrasil root? That's probably what he's talking about. He's probably talking about that. I'm not going to do that in this video, though. I think I'm just going to go talk to the king. I mean, seriously, stars just don't fall out of the sky. Yes, they do, sweetheart. They do. We're witnessing it right now. Go outside and look. Sure, man, if I saw that thing, I'd probably be praying too. And I'm not even religious.
Yeah, whatever. I don't need to talk to our cigars. Let's just go ahead and do this uh, the scene over here. Oh wait, I think we gotta walk away to get the scene. Okay, there we go. One moment, if you would. Honored Luminary, will you permit me and my daughter a few minutes alone? Despite Mordigan's machinations, my subjects have remained content. My kingdom has remained free of undue suffering. Alas, you, my dear, were not so lucky. I cannot help but wonder how things might have been if I had remained by your side on that fateful day. Perhaps Mordigan would not have possessed me. Perhaps I would not have missed all those years with my beloved daughter. If only I had been better. Stronger. Perhaps I could have resisted him. You were meant to know only peace. To be the princess of a great kingdom, blissfully ignorant of the woes of the world. But no. Instead, you fought. But you have fought enough. It is time to come home. To claim your birthright. To live in peace and privilege here with me in Heliodor. Oh, Father. I wouldn't change any of it. I wouldn't change a single day. I've been traveling now for many years, searching for something, meaning, I suppose. And it's been hard, sometimes unbearably so. But it was worth it. I found what I was looking for in the end. You, Father. Rab, my friends. The people of Heliodor. All the people of Erdria, in fact. These are what give life meaning, and they need protecting. And I'll do whatever it takes to protect them. All of them. You do your kingdom and your father proud. I had thought to save this for the day you took the throne, but I see now that it is time. The tiara is very precious. <laughs> it once belonged to your mother. Thank you, Father. It's beautiful. Now go. Do what you must do. And when all is ended, and peace has returned, you must come home to us. To Heliodor. Of course. I'm looking forward to it. You know, Jade isn't necessarily what I would call a short woman, and yet she looks like a midget compared to King Carnelian.
So yeah, Rab has kind of been like a uh, godfather to Jade, more or less, all these years. Just the person I wanted to talk to. Yeah, I mean, who else is the line of succession gonna pass to? It's gotta be the Jade. Yes. <laughs> and maybe a certain knight. Who knows? Oh wait, speak, speak of the devil. I don't know man, I think Hendrick would make a good king. Seems to have the right moral code. You wanna have a king with a moral code. Anyway, let's take a look at the golden tiara that we just got. Yeah, look at that, huh? Protects you from sleep, confusion, uh... What is, what is it when you can't... Fizzle, I should say. And instant death by 50%. And it goes up to 80% if you plus 3 it. So it's damn good. Uh, and yeah, all the girls can equip it. Any any one of the girls if you want. Um, yeah. Who am I going to equip this on? Uh... No, uh, it's a tough choice, man. Giving up paralysis for all this stuff? Yeah, I guess I'll put it on Veronica for now. Probably want to upgrade it, too. Or I could put it on Serena. Yeah, you know what? Why don't I just put it on Serena? I'll keep the papillon mask on you and then this is actually an upgrade from that goddess tiara I had on her there we go that's all for this episode of Dragon Quest 11 in the next episode I'm gonna continue exploring Heliodor Castle because there's a few things we can still do here uh, there's that quest with Hendrik with the Yggdrasil root and then there's also some treasure in the dungeon we can collect at this point see you next time bye bye